The FBI task force is starting out the morning strong with some waffles, but we're getting ready to head out to mission 13. That is right. We've also got a new truck with us in the fleet, the FBI Z71 Chevy. Now, this is going to be a pickup truck we need today because we're heading to an abandoned junkyard with Agent Rad here. Agent Rad's going to be driving this Chevy, and we're going to be driving the truck. So it's going to be fun. We get to test this thing out too. But we're hoping to find a million dollars worth of stolen vehicles at this junkyard. We think they're being hidden out there. We got word that there's a Ferrari SF90 and a Range rover and those things uh i think 1.2 million is the total value so we need to find those today confiscate them and bring them on back to the rifle owners let's head out agent rad you hear me at communications yep loud and clear uh, you go ahead and lead the way i'll follow you all right roger that going ahead pull out of traffic stay behind me all right roger that all right, guys. So once we get out of the city, we'll be jumping onto some trails. These trails are going to take us uh, kind of outside of the city for a minute, but it'll bring us back close. And you'll understand why, because we're going to sort of an island. Like I said, we have a bridge crossing, lots of weird ways to get there. But uh, anyhow, we'll get there eventually. And hopefully we can find these vehicles. If we do, that's going to be amazing because uh, we get a small percentage of it. We get $100,000. We get about 8% of the value of the vehicles that we find, which is pretty cool because, uh, you know, we needed to pay off this mission obviously moving in with the fbi is kind of expensive we do have military backup in case we have any problems but we've also got these expensive vehicles we have to pay for anyhow guys i'll see you when we're getting close uh, to that bridge crossing because it's not your normal bridge and you'll see why if you guys like seeing these fbi videos make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you haven't already well here we go guys we're getting close to the bridge right now we're driving through some industrial area i don't know what this is but uh there's not much out here we were passing some farms on the way in but i think back through here should take us to this bridge i can see the scrapyard in the distance scrapyard slash junkyard we call it people have been putting their junk there for years it's been abandoned for 15 years total here we go this is the bridge crossing oh no this place looks terrible yeah i'm right behind you ready to cross the bridge yeah agent rad we should be ready i'm gonna go ahead and cross but before i do i'm gonna check it out all right roger that uh yeah this is not looking good guys as you can see we've got some wood planks going in the same direction we'll be driving which will help us out so we'll stay balanced on the wheels like on this part and then we've got the cross beams to help us kind of i don't know this is a heavy truck guys to go across this thing let's check it out underneath oh geez they're just holed up by a bunch of logs okay well i guess we're gonna have to put our trust in the wood here all right well let's jump in the truck and we'll attempt it the worst case we jump out we've got to go for a nice swim all right agent rad i'm making a crossing here there we go all right boys i think we give it speed i think it'll be worse if we just sit there it will sink okay it's actually working pretty well we made it across there we go all right, successful bridge crossing. Now, we made it to the junkyard. This is looking rougher than I thought, but there should be nobody here. We're going to go ahead and put the police FBI vehicle out front. That way, people know that we're in search of uh, things here. So, sometimes people come here to just drop off their junk and the trash stuff. So, they probably wouldn't do that if they saw the police lights. So, anyhow, we're going to check this whole place out. We're looking for the Ferrari. Like I said, it's somewhere around here. So, let's search the yard. There's a lot of old chargers, like just trash chargers, minivan. Is this a minivan? That's an old minivan. Looks like the thing exploded back in the 90s and we've also got toyota camry okay that one's exploded cadillac oh geez i can actually recognize some of these vehicles this looks like an old impala no that's not an impala what is this maybe a chrysler oh no it's a mustang look at this a mustang all right you can tell from the tail lights it's kind of funny we can recognize all this stuff we got some trash there and nothing else but uh mini cooper i don't see any ferraris guys uh boy they should be hidden around here somewhere let's see uh there's some older trucks and stuff over on this side it's a cop car that's an old police car. That's crazy. All right, let's swing around back and see if we can find anything. All right, here's the main... Oh, there it is. That's the Range Rover. That's one of the two vehicles we're looking for today is the Range Rover. And it was about to go in the grinder. Okay, well, we saved it. I think people were just hiding this thing. Uh, this thing hasn't been running for years. So it's called the Red Wave Grinder. I don't think it turns on, but let's probably uh, let's see if the keys are in it. If it is, then we'll start it up. Let's see, check the visor. Oh, it's a push button start. All right, let's see if the keys are in it. Oh, start it up. Must mean the keys in the distance that uh, we can start the vehicle what that's good all right well we got the range rover here boys check this thing out this is uh this is nice so this thing's 200k that's a lot of money for an suv so we need to return this thing but let's get it out to the street around this trash area i'll we'll park it up there for now but wow that's actually crazy now we did check the entire back of the property so the ferrari could still be around here but let's jump up through here see if we can find anything there is a bunch of rooms offices and 
stuff. So there might be, a, maybe they put the Ferrari up there. I highly doubt it, but let's go ahead and jump on here. Watch this parkour. Here we go. All right, now we get jump on this thing and this should lead us over to the office. So, all right, let's check up in here. Okay, nothing. What does this button do? I don't know. It does something. I didn't click it though. Anyhow, all right, let's go down here. There we go. Where's the back side of the place? I knew it. There it is, the Ferrari. All right, we found it. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. That just made me realize. Agent one, come in. Uh, Agent one, come in. I can't hear him. You guys hear that? Sounds like a static noise. I can't hear him clearly, though. I don't know what he's saying. Agent one, agent one, agent one. Hey, come in, come in. All right, I'm understanding. I, I can't read the communications here. Uh, hold on. Maybe there's something wrong with my microphone or else I haven't heard from him in a while. It's, we found both vehicles in the time that I haven't heard from him. I, last time we saw him was at the bridge crossing. Hold on, let's check out and see if he's still there. All right, let's see. Let's look across the bridge. You know, he's right behind us before we cr I don't see anything. Hold on, let's go around the side. Maybe it's a bad angle. Nope, I don't see any vehicles over there. Okay, uh, let's try and radio it back in. I think maybe because we were in the area, the signal could have got lost. Hold on, let's go radio into communication, see if we can see you know pick up their comms if not then there might be a problem with his mic yeah communications this is agent ian radioing in uh can you hear me loud and clear over yeah loud and clear over uh communications are good okay uh do you uh have you heard from agent rad at all agent rad uh agent one no no we have not heard anything from him okay uh are you able to pull up the gps signal that uh where he might be located yeah, yeah hold on give us 13 seconds all right sounds good yeah it says that he's located just across the river there over by the bridge over by the br there's no vehicle there he was behind us but then we lost them uh yeah we we, uh, we got the GPS, and then have you heard from him recently on the radio? Uh, not, not since we crossed the bridge. Uh, you want to try radioing into him and see if you can hear anything? Yeah, his communication must be down. I haven't heard anything. Uh, okay, this is weird. Uh, I, yeah, I haven't heard contact. We lost contact about maybe 15 minutes ago, and I found both vehicles. So, obviously, the mission is complete, but we've just ran into a bigger problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Judging by what we just determined, I think he got kidnapped, yes. Okay, uh, you might have to send in some military backup uh, or Coast Guard, please. Yeah, we're sending a helicopter to your location. Please search for Agent Rad. If you can't find him, have return back to the safe house. If you do end up finding him, great. But if you don't, we're going to have to go ahead and go on a full service operation. We'll be moving on to Mission 14. Search for Agent Rad. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger that. Find Agent Rad or move on to FBI search or Mission 14. Recover Agent Rad. Over. Roger that. Sending helicopter your direction. All right, copy. Uh, guys, well, if you don't know, we've succeeded with this mission finding the stolen vehicles at the junkyard. But uh, we've ran into a bigger problem. Agent Rad was kidnapped. So, like you know, they're going to send in a helicopter. We're going to search the area. He can only be located on the other side of the river, which is a small area, all very industrial. We're going to search the area with the Coast Guard helicopter, see if we can find anything. And if we do, that's great. But if we don't, uh, that's not good. So, all right, I'll see you guys when the helicopter arrives and uh, we'll search the entire area. All right, boys, the rescue helicopter is here and we are flying this thing. They gave us an entire helicopter to search for Agent Rad. Now, this is good because now we can get a bird's eye view of everything and we can check it out down there. There's the bridge and we're going to go see if maybe he fell off the bridge or it collapsed. As you know, the bridge is pretty sketchy, so let's check the water and make sure the vehicle isn't located down there. Looks clear, boys. So now we have three points of interest to check out. The lizard industrial plant, and then we do have the biogas plant, and finally the grain storage plant. So we'll see if he's located at any of those properties. Maybe he had to use the bathroom. Highly doubtful since his communications went down. So, all right, uh, let's go loop around the energy plant. And if we don't see anything, moving on to the second and third point of interest. All right, if you see a few vehicles down there, they don't look like SUVs, though. Those are all black pickup trucks. We're looking for a Chevy Tahoe SUV. So, all right, we should be clear there. Let's move on to the biogas plant. There we go. We're flying low so that we can see everything. And I think this is going to be clear also. Yep, nothing located there. All right, the final place to look on this side of the river is right here. And if we don't find him, he's going to be officially missing. Here we go. All right, let's go all the way around through the grain bin, see if we can see anything. Let's go ahead and raise our altitude so we don't hit him. Oh, geez, that was close. Oh, I see a few vehicles down there. Let's go bring it down. It looks like a red vehicle. I can't identify the other one. Okay, red red and white SUV. Not the one, boys. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back up. Search the south side of the property. It's possible he could be over here. Oh, vehicle's down there. And not the right ones. Hold on. There's another vehicle located. Oh my gosh. Is that a helipad? I think it's a helipad. There it is. That's the vehicle. It's got flashing lights. It's got to be the one. Here we go. Let's bring it down. There it is. There it is. It's empty. No way. There's no Agent Rad. Uh, Agent Rad, Agent Rad. Maybe he's around the area. Communications could pick up. Come in. Come in. 
Oh, I'm picking up a stronger signal. Maybe he's through the tunnel or something, but there is a helipad here, guys. Maybe the kidnappers took him in a helicopter and went towards Frontier City. All right, we've got all the information that we could possibly get. Uh, looks like there's no Agent Rad located here anymore. So, possible missing agent. And uh, yeah, we're going to head back to the safe house with the Coast Guard helicopter. But let's redo back into communications. Give him a rundown of what we found. Communications, this is Agent Ian writing back in. Uh, looks like we found the SUV located across the river, but uh, we did is find no Agent Rad. He was not located in the vehicle at the time or around the area, but he was located next to a helipad landing site. Helipad landing site, uh, okay. Possible kidnapping. Uh, what's that helipad uh, landing site next to? Uh, it's located next to the grain bin site, uh, but it's it's not a part of it. I don't think it was outside of the gates. Okay, so it's probably just a local helicopter pickup. Okay, sounds good. Uh, but uh, we haven't seen any vehicles in the airspace. What do you mean? Uh, you haven't seen any uh, helicopters around the area recently? Uh, unless it's a ghost helicopter, we would have been radioed in that there was a helicopter in the area. Okay, yeah, that's right. They would have uh, they would have had to tell you that. Okay, so there was no helicopter, which leads me to believe that they are flying around in a ghost helicopter under the radar, and they're going towards another city with Agent Rad. Very well possible. The Agent Rad was kidnapped. Okay, get back to the safe house. We can't lose another one. All right, roger there. Coming back in the helicopter. All right, roger that. Mission 14, T-minus six days out. Find Agent Rad. Over. All right, roger that, boys. Yeah, you heard on the radio. Communication just told us we have the next six days to search for Agent Rad, and if we don't find them, we'll be failing the mission, but uh, we think he's located over there in the frontier city. So we need to fly over there, check it out. We need to move the entire FBI operations there. Time to land this thing and call it a day for mission 13. It was a successful slash unsuccessful mission. So if you like seeing these episodes, drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.